this is a short movie to show you how an event study can be done, can be done uh, even if you don't have a staff account. Uh, when you have a staff account, you can usually um, uh, use the request table option in Workspace. Um, but if you don't have that staff account, uh, there are alternatives. Um, this movie will show you that. So let's first log into LSEC Workspace to uh, generate that example. It's there. And there we go. So once Workspace has started, uh, the um, request table option that's available is usually shown here. But yeah, even if it's shown, if you don't have the right account, you cannot use this option. So what option is available then? Uh, well, we can use uh, the regular build formula option. So let's click on that. Let's maximize our screen. Um, Let's go uh, and do a download. Usually you have to do it uh, in, a, in a step by step approach. So we'll download a small window of data for the first event and then we'll uh, expand that to include everything else. So use the uh, cell reference option to select the first event. Uh, in this case, uh, the the code that we're using is an ISIN code. So let's select that. We can use different codes, CDL codes, QSIP9 codes, RIG codes. Those work as well. Ticker codes, unfortunately, don't work as well. Uh, in this case, for the event, we'll do a regular price download. And let's add this to the formula. Okay, there we go. Uh, we need to go to parameters to indicate that it's a time series and with a start and an end date. In this case, the start and end dates are varying, uh, so we'll have to indicate uh, the start and end with a cell reference. In this case, the first date is over here. And next, we need to indicate where the date stops. And this isn't right, so I'll do it again. This is the beginning, that's the start. How uh, we can choose a frequency, but we're doing daily downloads, so it can stay on the day, D. The currency, we can recalculate stuff to euros for this variable, which I'm gonna do. Next, uh, we'll go to layout. And in the layout, we can kind of indicate how we want to download the data. Uh, in this case, I'm not interested in dates. I just want the data and i want it transposed in this case the data will be in rows let's click ok to confirm and we do insert and refresh worksheets so this is our first download uh, now we'll need to change this uh, to do all the other downloads to do that, we need to first uh, change the formula for the first one. So we'll remove the dollar signs in the formula. And that way we can copy the formula downwards. So there we go. And we drag this downwards or copy this downwards in whatever way we want. I think that's about it. Refresh worksheets. And there we go. So now we have our different events and our different windows. Some of the codes may not be recognized or maybe there's no data within that window, but that's something that's normal. So this is a small example. If you adapt, change this sheet, you can also make sure you do have the dates for each event, but then you'll have to um, make sure there's uh, a row in between the, the downloads, otherwise, uh, Price data will be overwritten with uh, dates. This uh, concludes the small example for events with regular uh, icing codes.